Hey there, YouTubers. So I've got probably not a quick video for you because uh, this is a bit of a long story, um, but it's worth telling, I think, because um, I've been having, well, because a lot of people who have disabilities and need special equipment have this issue. So um, let's see, uh, I, as the title suggests, I have been um, trying to get a, a new wheelchair because I got my current one in 2015 and it's, aside from the fact that you're al allowed a new one by Medicare, oh, the, you might see the little flashes of light, that's because the TV's on over there. Anyway, aside from the fact that uh, Medicare allows a new one every uh, five years, the one I currently have um, is from 2015, so that's getting to be on seven years now, and it's breaking down. Um, I, I've actually had to replace the brake, the, the wheel locks twice, and I did that both times out of pocket, and I had to replace the front casters once, I did that out of pocket. I tried to have the excuse me, I tried to have the the larger wheels, I tried to replace those, but I wasn't able to do so. Um, so it's, it's definitely time to get another one. Um, so this is my ordeal or my saga, and this is kind of a thing that happens every time you're, you try to get any new medical, uh, medical equipment, pretty much. Um, so I, I started the process Actually, I started the process a long while ago, um, more than a year, um, when I when I went to the um, excuse me. I went to my the company that I got the current wheelchair through, and I said, "Hey, I need new." Um, I don't know the, the the big wheels, whatever they're called. I'm not really sure what those call what, what those are called. Anyway, hey, I need new big wheels. Um, the ones I have are super duper bald. They're like have no tread on them at all. They're completely flat. Um, and they were like, okay, well, we'll get in touch with your doctor and get you know the appropriate his, him to sign off on everything and blah 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 blah. I was like, okay, sounds good. And then I never heard back from them. And um, so after, I don't know, um, a month or two, two months, it was a while, um, I went, um, I called the company back and I said, hey, I, excuse me, I tried to get, I called about getting new wheels, new, or specifically new tires. I called about getting new tires and you, someone from your office said they were going to get in touch with my doctor, blah, 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 blah. And they were like, oh, well, we did, and you, uh, your doctor never got back to us. I was like, oh, that's strange. Um, so I was like, okay, well, I guess I'll have to call my doctor then. And I, <clears throat> so I called my doctor, and they were like, um, yeah, we we did we did sign sign off on that. Everything was everything is fine on our end. We did all everything we needed to do. Uh, it must be on the other end. So I was like, uh huh, okay. So I called the company back, and they said, hmm, that's strange. Well. We'll look into it and see if we can find anything, and I never heard back from them again. So I was like, mm, okay, I just, I guess I'm just gonna give up for now. Um, so then that was, I don't know, 2018, 19, somewhere in there. Um, so three, three and a half to four years after I got the chair. Um, So I gave up on that and, <laughs> excuse me, but then 
the, the, the tires got worse and other things started breaking down. As I mentioned, I had to replace the front casters and I replaced the wheel locks. Um, I also replaced the one of the, um, the anti-tip wheels. Um, what I did for that was I actually used the anti-tippers from my old wheelchair and put them on this one. Um, so I've, I've been like making it work, but really it's, I need a new one. So finally, last year, 2020, I went to my doctor and I was like, yo, can you give me, or actually what I did, no, that, I'm getting out of order now. I called up, <clears throat> I called up a, a rehab facility and I was like, uh, what do I need to do in order to get a new wheelchair? And they said, well, you need a wheelchair evaluation. So I was like, okay, how do I get that? And they said, well, you need a prescription from your doctor to, to get a wheelchair evaluation done. And I said, okay. So I um, tried to, so I got in touch with my doctor. This was about May or June of 2020. And I got in touch with my doctor. And um, I don't like how my hair is hanging there. And they said, um, the doctor said, okay, yeah, um, we'll sign off on that. And then it never happened. So I was like, okay, well, <clears throat> I'm, I'm going to be traveling. I went up back up to New Jersey for a bit from Florida. And it says, okay, since I'm traveling for a while, I will put that off. And when I get back to Florida, I'll start up on this again. And, and that's what I told their office and they were like, okay, yeah, that sounds good. Call us when you get back down, blah, 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 blah. So when I got back down in, actually, I didn't do it right away. I didn't do it right after I got back down um, because I had some other stuff I was working on. Um, but I guess it was at the beginning of November, I finally got the prescription that I needed for the wheelchair evaluation and um, got that done at the got that done like the Tuesday before Thanksgiving I think it was um, and once I was done with that they gave me paperwork the facility gave me paperwork and they were like okay so you need to or rather we, oh, yeah, that's what it was. I asked, well, first of all, I asked for a copy, even though they said, we'll fax this to your doctor. But I said, well, let, let me have a copy just for my records uh, of, of the information that was um, figured out during the evaluation. So they gave me a copy. They faxed the copy to the doctor. And they said, um, what will happen is when we get back the doctor signing off on this, we'll send uh, the company that we deal with which is different than the company I had for my previous wheelchair. So they're like, we'll send the company that we def deal with, excuse me, we'll tell them that everything's been signed off on, everything's good to go, and they will come meet you where you live and measure you and do all the, all the logistics and everything that they need to, to do to order the wheelchair. Uh, so it's like, okay, great. M making sure that I had a copy for myself and um, so they so they said if 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 you don't hear anything in um, like two weeks, I think it was, um, make sure to follow up with your doctor. And I was like, no, hold on, I'm getting mixed up again. And they said if you don't hear anything in a week make sure to follow up with your doctor. So I was like, okay, sounds good. Um, and I didn't hear anything, but then I figured, well, you know, Thanksgiving was in between, maybe there was blah, blah, blah. So I waited, I think I waited like 10 days or a little, it was a little more than a week. Um, and then I called my doctor and I was like, hey, you have this thing that, um, needs to be signed off on by my doctor uh, for getting a new wheelchair. Can you can that get done? And they're like, oh yeah yeah sure, he'll he'll do <clears throat> he'll do that. It, it might take a little while, but he'll do it. They said 
They were the ones that said, if it's not done in two weeks, get back to us. So it's like, okay. And at this point, it was like December 5th, 6th, 7th, somewhere around there. I don't remember quite. I don't remember exactly. But so two weeks was like ish at right around Christmas. So again, I was just like, I didn't hear anything. I was like, oh, okay, I, I guess I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. So I waited until after Christmas and I waited until after New Year's because I was like, let's get the holidays all out of the way and get, make sure there's nothing, uh, no problems there. So then still didn't hear anything. And I, instead of calling up, I went there, I went to the doctor's office and I said, hey, I have this form that was supposed to be signed off on by the doctor. Um, Oh, I left something out. So the my doctor claimed that they never got the form in a fax from the uh, physical therapy place. Whether that's true or not, I have no idea. They claimed they didn't get it, so I had to give them my copy. Hey, great that I had a copy, right? Um, that was that was like December fifth, sixth, seventh that I gave them the copy. That's when they said, um, give us give us like two weeks if we don't hear back, come in, or call us rather. So I gave them two weeks, Christmas, then New Year's, and I finally, I finally went back after New Year's and I was like, hey, I brought this form here, <laughs> excuse me, to be signed um, by my doctor so I could get a new wheelchair. And they were like, oh, Oh yeah, now this was like January, around the first week of January that I went in. Um, and they're like, oh, oh, oh yeah, oh, oh, you know what, I see it here, it's right here on the computer. Oh yeah, your doctor signed it, he signed it like the day after I brought it in, at the beginning of December, so a month, it was a month where they a, did not fax it back to the place. Sorry, this is my hair tie thingy. Um, A, did not fax it back to the uh, the physical therapy facility. And B, didn't even tell me that it had been signed. So <laughs> a month was wasted for nothing. So anyway, I was like, okay, well, <laughs> can you please fax it to them? And they said, oh, yes, sure. I, I, will, I will do that today. Now... It's, I'm recording this video on December, or sorry, January 17th, and I haven't heard anything from anybody, so <laughs> uh, whether the thing got faxed and just was not taken care of by the uh, physical therapy facility, or whether it wasn't faxed, or I have no idea, but again, this is really typical of trying to get any kind of, whether it's wheelchair, braces, any anything, pretty much any, any kind of medical thing um and the the other thing is once everything once all of this stuff is done and everything gets approved in terms of that medicare always takes at least five six seven months to come through on their end so now i started this process i started the real process i started the process of having repairs done and I made sure to not try to get the repairs done through Medicare. That's why I paid on my own because if I got them done <clears throat> through Medicare, then I there's no way they would approve a new wheelchair. So basically you either have to wait to get repairs done until after you get the new chair or you have to pay for the repairs out of pocket if you're gonna do it before. Um, so I paid for the repairs out of pocket that was several years ago. I actually tried the process of getting the new chair for realsies June of May, June of last year, 2021. So now it is, well, let's see, May, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January. It's eight months since I started this process and it hasn't even been ordered yet. And it's going to take at least another five, six, or seven months once it's ordered. So we're looking at probably a year and a half 
if it's ordered anytime soon, which is not guaranteed. Because they still have to... Again, I haven't heard from the rehab facility or physical therapy place, whatever you want to call it. I haven't heard from them, so I don't know if they got it and are working on things. I don't know if the delay is with my doctor. I don't know if the delay is with the physical therapy place. And I don't know if the delay is maybe it got through those phases, but the company that the physical therapy place deals with, maybe they're slacking. I just, I don't know. So it could be another month or two, or I mean, who knows at this point. I'll probably have to <clears throat> go back to the doctor's office, find out if it's faxed. Then if, I, if it was faxed, then I have to follow up with the physical therapy place. And it's just, it's, a, it's, it's, it's always, always, always a huge mess. So, I mean, if you can pay for things out of pocket, that makes things much quicker. Of course, that's not really possible, usually because, well, wheelchairs are uh, expensive. So, um, and, and braces are expensive. Pretty much almost all medical devices are expensive. Um, so the, the ongoing saga of trying to get a new wheelchair, uh, it's been eight months so far, probably going to be at least another month or more until it actually gets, until I actually get measured and gets ordered and whatnot. Um, and of course, it's always like this, but I don't doubt that the pandemic has made things even slower. So there's that added to it. Um, anyway. I will do an update video at some point when I have some interesting news <laughs> instead of nothing, but I thought I'd just fill everybody in on what's happened so far. Um, thanks for watching. See you next time. I, I, I should also mention, I've, I've shown you my wheelchair seat cushions before, but I, I never go through Medicare for those. I always buy them out of pocket and they're, they're expensive too. They're, I mean, depending on if you can find a sale, 300, if not, then towards 400 uh, um but it's just it's <laughs> this is this is what having a disability is like it's expensive uh and it's annoying uh anyway thanks for watching see you next time don't forget to subscribe be sure to stay safe out there and make sure to check a check me out on patreon